Here, should we go to the butcher shop? Will they have that there? Healthy snacks. It's got to be in frozen food. That's chicken. There's a veggie, all-American classic. And then a vegan veggie. What's the difference? Would you say that the idea of a meatless burger growing up would have been unthinkable? Um, definitely. Yeah, meat was always part of the meal. So the difference between these two is this is a veggie burger, but it doesn't have meat in it, but it has milk in it. And this one doesn't have milk in it. And we're going for vegan. So this is animal product free. Well, I think for the first one, we should go true vegan. Well, well, the bean burger is going to be vegan as well. I'm so confused. Meat and potatoes, West Texas. So um, anything to do with beef, uh, it could have been, if you could put beef in it, there was beef in it. I have an open mind to it, but, you know, there's nothing like a good steak or, you know, a good hamburger. Yeah. Are we really skipping the beer? Oh, well, no, we got to get beer. Well, there's a sizzle. Whoop. Did you get the grill marks directly in line with? I'm gonna make my own grill marks. Okay, okay. Here. Looks delicious. Wally, you did a fantastic job cooking that up. There goes nothing. My dry one with nothing on it. Mm-hmm. It's like 10 crackers at a bar when you're having that bet. <laughs> you know, can you eat 10 crackers in under a minute? I'll give you 100 bucks. <laughs> but the one with all the fixings on it's pretty good. There's From not the beef a... frozen patty. Yeah. It tastes about the same texture wise, wouldn't you agree? Mm hmm. That is one difference the juiciness. Mm hmm. On a real patty, there is the juiciness. You, your, your bun gets soggy. Right. So all vegans out there, get juice in the patty. Figure that out. Overall, first uh, actual vegan burger I've ever had. I'd give it an all right. But if I'm a cook out on the weekend, I'd still default to a homemade hamburger. All right, Beyond Meat, Beyond Burger, plant-based burger patty. All right, as you can see, this one actually mimics a hamburger patty. A little thicker, they've really done a nice job. If you're a converted vegan from beef, yeah. this would be visually stimulating to your brain Yes. that you're eating a meat patty. Yes, it resembles a meat patty. In all ways. In The drippings, the fire, yep. everything. Not quite the smell though. That is a different smell. All right. First, right out of the bat, I can actually taste a flavor. Of the patty? Of the patty. I can taste a flavor. This one tastes like if you were to make it fresh. Yes. The a other one, one was tasted like right. it was out of the freezer. Yes. So yeah, I'd, I'd still give it a solid rating. entirely of potato and wheat is the protein and then we bind it with soy and coconut oil and then it has heme in it and that gives it that meat-like quality or beef-like quality. What? So it's a plant derivative that mimics the flavor of meat. It's going to have that like copper flavor that meat does like beef does and then we grind it in house and actually make patties out of it. So everything comes from the heme. Yep, every, it's about all about the heme. It's amazing how the texture is so similar. Yeah. It's a lot better than that other one we had. 
if I were blindfolded and biting into this and biting into a real beef one, I'm not sure I'd be able to tell the difference. The classic burger is seven dollars. Impossible is fourteen, and on the menu, it's the most expensive burger on the menu. But I can see that as a deterrent. It's a disadvantage. Yeah, absolutely. If there was a way to get it price point closer to the beef burgers, right? They might actually get people that normally get beef just to take a, just to try that one. Yeah. Out of those others that we tried, mm -hmm. this one tastes juicy to me, yeah. but it doesn't have the juice. Right. If I were to rate these versus the other three we had, I'd say this is at the top. Oh yeah, this definitely. is number one. Oh, definitely. All right, that looks fantastic. Some assembly is required. Some assembly is required. Here goes nothing. Because it tastes like a real burger, like they put it together. So they got something going on here. You could tell it's not a real beef burger, but the combination of everything puts it over the top. Yeah, I could see the shift going to something like this that's not, that tastes like it came out of NASA, yeah. right? This tastes natural and fresh. Oh yeah. But I wouldn't go as far as saying buying the frozen patties. That we tried that first night. Right. Yeah. Because that tastes like that tape. Yes. If I was going to do it, I would have to do it fresh. Economically, I couldn't do that all the time because they are a little more expensive. Does that yep. make sense? Oh yeah. I'm impressed mm -hmm. with this one. I would say uh, number one so far. I haven't found the Whataburger <laughs> yet. <laughs> and I'm not saying this is close to Whataburger, but I would say, yeah, this is pretty tasty. I'd, I'd go for it. As far as the, the patty and the resemblance, I mean, looks like a burger I made. It looks exactly like a burger. Tomato, lettuce, pickle, cheese. It looks really good. So I would have to say that's very similar. Probably supersedes the one from yesterday. Yeah, it's gone up in that spiral. It. Well, you know, it tastes more like off a of grill burger. It me. does. It really does. It's very tasty. Go well, back to our blind taste test, I couldn't tell you the difference. No. There's no way I can I tell you the difference. It'd be impossible. This is a classic this burger This is taste. a classic. I'd give you that. Texas burger. Off the grill, cheeseburger with bacon. And this is good. This might even pass in West Texas, and that's saying something. You guys set the bar pretty high for us. You said that um, this was going to be a Whataburger equivalent. I'm impressed. I think it's a really damn good burger. It is a damn good burger. Well, I thought it was going to taste like cardboard. <laughs> I really did, I'll be honest. I thought, you know, it's not going to taste that good. So I was a little slanted in my view. We learned a lot, um, did some research on things that we were doing, and I thought, wow, this is, this is interesting. No, we so. learned a lot about what goes in. The, there's not just a single vegan hamburger patty. There's the Impossible Burger with the yeah. heme. Yeah, the heme. And then Forgot uh, about the heme. down at the place in Austin, that one had the... Arlo's. Arlo's. Yeah, it had a bunch of grass and stuff. Well, it was a grain, and it was a millet. 
millet. Not, and the ones that we had here were in the grocery store were plant-based, but they were all so very different. But if I was out and there was a fresh option that I knew was good, I might go that route.